The ports and shipping industry plays a pivotal role in sustaining growth in trade and commerce and the overall development of the economy. And shipping continues to remain unchallenged as the world's most efficient means of transportation. India currently ranks 16th among the maritime countries having a long coastline of about 7,517 kilometers with 13 major ports and about 200 notified and intermediate ports on the western and eastern coast of the country. These ports serve as the gateways to India's international trade by sea, handling over 90% of foreign trade. During financial year 2013-14, major ports successfully reversed the negative trend of the past few years by registering a 1.78% growth in cargo volumes. In April, major ports registered a 9% growth in cargo handling as against a negative growth of 6% in April last year. The state-owned ports Kolkata, Paradeep, Vishakhapatnam, Innore, Chennai, Tutikoran, Kochi, New Mangalore, Mormogao, Kanla, Mumbai and Navi Mumbai look after about 58% of India's external trade by volume shipped by sea. But this does not mean all is well with the shipping industry. There are several challenges in the development of ports, the key ones being getting environmental and other approvals and acquisition of land for the port and port-based industries. Now when the elections are over, some ray of hope for the chaotic shipping market. Focus on hope has grown stronger than ever before. India's trade growth is likely to increase and generate huge demand for port facilities, especially the container movement. This will be a major challenge for India and calls for massive improvement in domestic transportation and investments in deep sea ports for handling large sized vessels. Experts believe that there is need to accelerate development of deep sea ports to catch up with rapidly growing foreign trade in the country. But experts also say India has limited locations to set up deep water ports except for Mumbai and some of the islands on the east and west coasts. Handling large sized ships is not only a challenge for India but everywhere as global trade volume will increase in coming years. India's present containerized exports a ship through feeder vessels to Colombo and Singapore for transshipment to the markets in the Pacific and the east coast of the US. Therefore increasing port handling capacity is a major challenge. The capacity of ports in India by the end of the 12th five-year plan is targeted to increase to 2,493 million tons per annum. High investments will be involved in the capacity expansion in the port sector. Most of the ports in India do not have natural draft for direct berthing of large size vessels. Huge investment in dredging of challenge is required to increase the draft at the port. Port connectivity is the biggest challenge facing the port sector. Most of the ports are lacking because of the bottleneck in the evacuation. Ports need to be connected to the hinterland by high-quality road and rail infrastructure. Creation of road and rail infrastructure requires involvement of several government agencies for approvals, acquisition of land and development of facilities. Comprehensive policy package is necessary to address the diverse issues facing the maritime transport sector. Bringing ports at par with best international ports in terms of performance and capacity is also important. Skill development and capacity building is another important area which needs to be looked into. On the new government's agenda will be pushed to key infrastructure sectors like roads, railways and port sector. Issues like land acquisition, environment clearances, financing mechanisms also needs to be addressed. It thereby becomes imperative for the new government to have a dynamic thinking and flexible approach in order to boost investor confidence in the sector. Business Bureau, DD News.